And now, the rest of the story. If you ever want to write somebody a coded message without arousing general suspicion, how would you do that? You would not use strange-looking hieroglyphic-like symbols. That would attract too much attention. Invisible ink? No, no, no. Giving somebody a blank piece of paper to read would attract the most attention of all. So what might you do? You might compose a letter filled with routine information about a vacation you took, a movie you saw, the weather, a communication that might appear trivial to anybody else, but buried in that text, concealed among the ostensibly ordinary words, you could place another message, your secret message. You could have an agreement with the intended recipient that every fifth or tenth or fifteenth letter would spell out what you really wanted to say. Now, I must make certain you understand this. You've written a long, innocent-looking text with a coded message hiding in it. You give it to a person who already understands the code, who knows that he or she is to circle the first letter of the text and then count forward ten letters and circle another letter and then count forward ten more letters and circle another letter. After he has finished circling all of those letters at regular intervals, then he will have the letters in their proper order, which comprise your secret communication to him. And that brings us to the rest of the story. Moshe Katz and Menachem Wiener are professors at the Israel Institute of Technology. Wiener is a computer expert. These two respected men in their fields have for the first time ever cracked a code. They have put five volumes of material, five full books into a computer. They have asked the computer to search for words hidden in the texts. Words spelled out by letters placed at regular intervals. Now such a task would be hopelessly tedious without a computer... Yet thus advantaged, scholars Katz and Wiener have succeeded. The code is similar to the one we've just discussed, only it's a little more complex. For in every instance, the decoded words are directly relevant to the text in which they were concealed. And one other complication. Some of the hidden words are lurking at 50 character intervals, others at intervals of 26 characters. Naturally, it takes a computer to discern this. A person would hardly know where to begin looking. Happenstance? Well, in the occurrence of each word, the odds are millions to one against happenstance. But one thing of which both Katz and Wiener are completely convinced, because of the uniqueness and the complexity of this code, all of the five books under scrutiny certainly had the same author. The two scholars suspect one more thing, that the author was not human, but rather a super being of incomparable intelligence. The phenomenon cannot be explained rationally, says Wiener, so we need a non-rational explanation, and Mr. Katz agrees. Moshe Katz is a scripture scholar at the Institute, the decoded words that he and his colleague have discovered, words like Torah and Elohim, were concealed in the so-called Pentateuch, the original text of the first five books of the Holy Bible. And now you know the rest of the story.